Okay, so the sounds. <clears throat> um, so we need to go here, 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 there, and... What in the fuck is that? Wait, with whatever the hell you're doing, life is a dream. You damn fucking slug. Hi guys, Corey here. <clears throat> and today we are playing After the Curtain Call. Now this is act one of this game. Um, and in it we play as an electrician who notices some strange things happening around the set of a play. Um, I don't know exactly what those strange things are, but we're going to find out in Life is a Dream. Interesting. So, Illuminate the actor. The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing and all the praise he receives is written in wind and <clears throat> leaves a little dust on the way. So what happens if I don't illuminate the actor? Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound with chains. And I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? A tale that is told. What is life a frenzy extreme? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. <sighs> and what is a dream but the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life of another that is only live in the mind a dream is nothing Play why don't you understand it is nothing part. all these stories are just Play myths subjective part. ideas exaggerations dramatizations why did you come Play your part. we have Play nothing your to give you Play we are just actors part. following Play a script part. play your part shit okay Life is, is a dream. Okay. okay. Uh, you, you're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I, I need you to do us a favor. Go, go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it. Please. It's really important. We're depending on you. Okay. So we got to turn on the radio behind the stage. Okay. Well. Oh, I can't just jump down. I got to walk down the hallway and stuff. Uh, Someone else is in here. What the hell? I don't like that one bit. I mean, am I able to just explore? That door is locked. Okay. All right, no, I can't fall off the edge, so I gotta actually walk around. Okay, turn off the radio. Uh, electricity. No. Oh, <clears throat> so that is where I was supposed to go. Search for the key and access to the electricity sources. Okay. Decoration. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Um, well, we're here. 
there anything that I need to be aware of here? No? Oh, we came from that way, so let's go this way. <clears throat> One of five books. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said when the Roman Empire began, Alexius was the best warrior from the abilities he had only learnt by watching others fight. So he learned to fight by not doing anything. He died during battle. Well, that's what happens when you learn by watching and not actually doing it yourself. And it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wound. It is known for a fact he had progeny, but their whereabouts were lost to time. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is this? Break a leg. I would rather not break a leg. This is behind the set right now. Scare the shit out of me, actually. Oh, there's another book back here. <clears throat> Two of five. A mystical and horrible Lovecraftian tale about a kid who, misled by his grandfather's indi indications, awakes an elder being walked. An elder being while making a snowman. A Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. Okay. So, what do we have here? Oh, there's a key. Grab the employee's key. It's the radio. Radio isn't working. Fix the sounds. Main electricity source. Okay. We can definitely do that. What in the what? What was that? Is it a slug? Oh. Oh, that's just pitch black over there. No, thank you. Open the metal door. Okay. I don't like that. The tenth sister will hatch. I'm so happy. We had never had the theater for us. And from not having anything to have the whole gold sign theater, that's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but it has rooms everywhere and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. So there's a sphere, okay? Interesting. And it's gone. So we gotta go. It. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Quit. Up. Down. Up. Up. And. Yeah. Search for the key and access to the electricity resources. Hang on, there's another book here I need to read. <clears throat> this is three of five. This book narrates the life of Luntian, a myth mythological creature living in an old Phil Philippine forest in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of narrative fantasy. Luntian seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. Hmm. Can't go back there. Okay. It makes me feel. It makes me feel better that I tried to go back there, <laughs> and that I clearly can't. So 
<clears throat> Book four or five. This piece tells the story of the Mayans who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded. Since they didn't reach the sun, they instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching for sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. My cats are just making all sorts of ruckus. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No, even better. Is it even possible that they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations which Helena is organizing and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original play. They always wanted to do that. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere, I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. Okay, there we go, Hector. So here's our key that we need. <clears throat> we grab the electricity key. Okay, so... But it wasn't working. Fix the sounds. Main electricity source. Okay. We can definitely do that. So let's go fix the sounds. I don't want to see that weird slug thing again, though. Because that was not... Ooh. It was not a friendly looking... Slug. I didn't see this note here earlier, either. Today's the day. This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionate, they are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises! Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn! Th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today, us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I... I'm... I'm getting nervous. I is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue practicing the script. Ah, I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Okay, so Jeffrey is trying to impress the Lewises. Interesting. Just like I tried to impress y'all. By the way, if you're not subscribed, now would be a perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button. Right before we get into this creepy shit down here. Well, here's our fifth book. Classic story of the Pied Piper of Hamlin. However, in this book in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but that the flute summoned some creature which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls this creature Schlaggergeist. Schlaggergeist. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? Okay, so the sounds. <clears throat> um, so we need to go here, 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 there, and... What in the fuck is that? Wait, with whatever the hell you're doing, life is a dream. You damn fucking slug. Did not ask. For you to be doing creepy shit. Okay, so I gotta turn the radio on. Turning on nothing but static. I hate this. Hide. What do I hide at? Oh! What the fuck was that? Uh, this was not like this before. Exit the electricity room. Okay.
Oh, shit. Okay. There, 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 and there. Oh, wait, can I not just go up? <clears throat> oh, the door is locked. Okay. So we fall into this giant ass hole after getting captured by whatever the hell that was. So, oh, we're in a vent. And we're not the only thing in the vent. Hmm. I fucking love that. Why are we walking so slow? Oh, God. Okay, just keep going. Fuck! What was that? Okay. I have no idea what that was. But, wow. Okay. Church Harters. Okay. Um, anyway. So that was after the curtain call. Um, that was different. Um, it was enjoyable. I I would like to see more and get more of the actual story as to what exactly is going on here on the set. Um, <clears throat> but for part one, it was creepy. Um, it scared me quite a few times. That giant slug thing was just weird. Um, I don't know if whenever I was hiding, if I didn't do a good enough job of hiding or if, or what exactly, or if that was where I was supposed to end up in any way. Um, but yeah, so that was after the curtain call. If you want to play it for yourself, I will leave the link for it down in, down in the description below. I recommend it. It was a fun little, fun little, I, I would call it a demo, fun little demo. Um, and like always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.